Hi guys, it's me, Nico. Um, I had to come on here because a couple of days ago I was at my doctor's office. Now my doctor uh, is actually inside the hospital. Her office is in the hospital, so um, I was in front of the hospital and I was waiting for my car to come pick me up. And my car took a particularly long time, but I think it was meant to be that way because I ran into a young man. And I've got to say, he's like right in the middle between my age and my son's age. So like, he must be mid to late 30s, maybe early 40s. My son's turning 30 and I'm 47. So like around that time, um, he was pacing nervously and he asked me for a light. And me forgetting that I quit cigarettes about a month and a half back now. Um, I don't carry lighters with me anymore. And so I'm searching my bag for a minute and I can't find any. And, and I turn around to him and say, sorry, no. Uh, and he was like, it's okay, I have one. And he lights his cigarette. And uh, he turns around and he says, I'm dying. I have cirrhosis of the liver and I'm dying and <laughs> I felt very awkward because this was just like out of nowhere hello but I listened to him and I think that's what he needed he said I'm a veteran I, w I was a marine you know I'm a marine I serve I, I did two tours and, and I come back and I'm fucking drinking and, and, and I have cirrhosis of the fucking liver and I'm dying. And I could see that he was angry but worried more than angry. And I remember back to when I thought I was going to die and, and one of the things that I did was well, after writing up my will and, and doing my permanency planning, um, I, I, I made the conscious decision to start living life in a very purposeful way. You know, I wanted to be in every moment. I wanted to stop and smell the roses. Literally, I, I was walking back <laughs> from uh, from the hospital one day with my neighbor, and uh, there's a rose bush on the corner of uh, Mashalu when we turn to come this way. And I, 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 as we're walking, I saw a rose, and I was like, ooh, like a little child. <laughs> ooh, and I turned around, and I stopped, and I smelled the rose, and I just stood there. And she turned around, she's like, she's like uh, hello, are you walking? And, Okay, yeah, that's what I was doing. I forgot. I turned around and I started walking. So I wanted to find a way to explain that to him and maybe let him see that we all die and what, what matters most is how we live our life while we're alive. And so I spoke to him and I told him that I felt that I thought I was going to die and that I went through that moment where I needed to start living life very purposefully and, and doing things on purpose and taking the time to be early so that that way you can take the time to smell roses. You know what I mean? Like, make sure you're a half hour early for everything and you're planning so that that way you can stop and get a coffee at that special spot that you like or maybe sit and people watch for a minute in the subway before you get on the next train. You know, like, Whatever it is that you like doing, you can spend the time doing it and actually appreciate it more because you're in that moment, because you're not rushing yourself, because you're not pushing yourself to be somewhere because someone said for you to be there. You know you have to get there. You're going to get there. It's fine. You're just here right now, and you can just be here right now because you give yourself the ability to do so. When I told him that, he said, thank you. And he said, I think God told me to talk to you because God knew that you knew what to say to me. And I said, well, I don't know what plans your God makes for you. I really don't.
but I can see that. It's likely. Your God is looking out for you. And if your God is looking out for you, whatever it is you're stressed out about going in there for, don't worry about it. Because your God's got your back. And he looked at me. And he was like, you're an angel. And I didn't know what to say to that because I, I don't... <laughs> I'm not an angel. <laughs> I'm not a saint. I'm not any biblical reference whatsoever. You know? So I told him, listen, we're, you know, in, in we're in similar places in our life. I just happen to have been there and been able to share that with you. You know, maybe one day when you're all better, you can share that moment with someone else who's going through it because you'll recognize it in them. At some point I had grabbed a cigarette from him and, and lit it. And um, I got the phone call from my car and the dude had pulled up while we were talking. And I wasn't paying any mind. <laughs> and we were, you know, he turned around and he said, I need all the luck I can get. And it looked like he was about to cry. So I turned around and was like, you need a hug? I can give you a hug. And he was just, you know, he nodded in that silent way that you, yes, 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 I want to. But you're not saying the words because you really want to. And you know you're going to cry. And uh, I gave him that hug. I said, here, I don't smoke cigarettes. And I was like, my car is here. I gotta go. I ran to my car and I left him to smoke that cigarette. And I'm pretty sure that that moment was pretty fucking profound for him because it was pretty fucking profound for me too. It scares me that I have that knowledge because nobody should be in that position. But having been in that position and having been able to be there for him in that moment was huge. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I... I don't know. Maybe one day you guys need to talk to somebody. And you need to hear it from somebody else. Or maybe you need to hear it from me. But go out there and live life. Live it in every moment. In every moment that you can. Try not to rush. I'm not saying your life will be happier. I am saying your life will be fuller. And it will mean that much more to you. And that's really who your life should be about. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. And um, hit me up if you want to talk. Bye.